one of the very first natural resources to be harvested and exported from the Virginia colony were hardwood trees for ship's masts, posts and beams, and hardwood flooring. Today, timber is treated as a long-term crop across rural Virginia. The timber industry is worth $21 billion to the overall state's economy, with more than 31,323 manufacturing jobs. The timber industry encompasses everything from construction lumber to hardwood floors to furniture to pallets for shipping and pellets for wood stoves. Hardwood lumber is one of Virginia's top agricultural exports to countries like China. Again, it's the third largest contributor to our economy, and the products that we uh, come from Virginia are amazing. Uh, we have products that go into our homes as dimensional lumber, and we have products that go into our paper products and pulp. We have plywood and OSB, pellets for the uh, energy sector. So it is an amazing resource that is renewable and natural and has a sustainability so long as our landowners take place or continue to reforest and use those, uh, their land for sustainable forestry practices. Timber is grown and harvested throughout Virginia, even near urban areas. There are more hardwood trees than pine trees grown in the Old Dominion, especially in the northern part of the state. Pine plantations for softwood products are more common in southern Virginia. About 62% of Virginia is forest land, and private landowners control almost 80% of all timber resources. Most of those timber owners replant their trees once they're harvested. Well, pine is 35 to 40 years is what they're cutting now. You, know, you can't tell, but the stands right behind me, that stand there is 22 years old, and I thinned that. And the stand behind that, I clear cut. 27 years ago, and I didn't thin that. So it's coming all back around, you know, so I'm just rotating around and trying to keep busy. But just goes to show though, that if you replant, you can have this again. Carter Flippo grew up working in one of the almost 600 sawmills here in Virginia. His family processes lumber from the weigh-in trucks all the way through the drying and the planer machines. They send a majority of their lumber to treatment plants to the south. Some of that lumber comes back to Virginia home centers like Home Depot and Lowe's. Flippo Lumber deals almost exclusively with pine. A decade ago, at the peak of the housing market, there were close to 52,000 jobs at Virginia lumber mills. We started off years ago just in the rough green lumber business. Uh, put, you know, put, I always say put them in round, hope they come out square. Um, but as time went on, we realized we couldn't really stay in business doing that. So slowly we got into drying lumber and dressing lumber. And then back through the 90s, we built, upgraded just about everything around here. And now we're in the finished lumber business. And uh, we make everything from one by fours, like you see here, uh, it's a small part of our business. Main, main, main thing we do is, is two inch lumber, dimension lumber, two by four through two by 10. We make some five quarter by six decking, um, timbers, four by fours, four by sixes, six by sixes. Sawmills and wood processing companies have different customers for the different types of wood they process. David Knighton Sawmill deals with hardwoods and produces lumber for a variety of products from oak furniture to low-grade pallets and packing materials. To stay in business, no lumber is wasted in modern sawmills. Everything from the bark to the shavings is sold for use in products we all use. Wood pellets are sold to the electrical power industry as part of the federal clean and renewable energy programs. We buy the timber, we log it ourselves, we bring it to our mill here, um, and then we, after we unload, we process it, run it through the sawmill, and then once it comes out in, into the uh, boards, then that's when we grade it to determine whether it's higher quality for the furniture industry or what have you, or whether it's a lower quality for industrial grade. I guess I'm second generation. My son just started uh, about a year and a half ago, so he'll be third generation, and he's, uh, he enjoys it. He's, um, he likes it a lot, so I, I think just the, the the passing down, I guess, from generation to generation is what I really love about it. The families that work in Virginia's timber industry are carrying on the tradition of processing the almost $336 million worth of timber harvested every year. With their help, 
Virginia's 15.8 million acres of forest lands are growing and flourishing across the state, while providing valuable sources of income for rural Virginians. In Caroline County, Virginia, this is Dave Miller.